as I get more Catholic, I realize maybe God has a plan. Maybe I should be thanking God that I'm single because maybe God's got a plan for my life. And that's why I'm single. Or I'm ugly. It's, it's got to be one of the two things, though. It, 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 it has to be one of those two. With the laughter, I'm guessing it's the latter in my case. But if, if there was great protesting right here, no, Lino, that's not the, oh, OK. Yeah, maybe you got a point. Or you're a bad dater. It's possible you're a bad dater. I'm a bad dater. I'm very pleased to say I'm a bad dater, which is why I love being single. And that's why at the end of a conference like this, perhaps at a, at a show of hands, who got engaged over the weekend? Did you meet anybody? In the OK. Me either. So if that's the case, we're going to be leaving being single today. So if you're going to leave and you're going to still be single after today, you either can thank God you're single and you can say, all right, God, what is your plan for me? Do you, God has a plan for all of us. I know God has a plan for me. He probably has a plan for you. I actually haven't asked him about you. But I know that God has a plan for me. And so if God has a plan for us, we have the choice to be thankful for whatever it is God's got in store for us. We have no idea what it is. Whatever God's got in store for us, we can be grateful for this day and look forward to how we're going to go out and live our Catholic faith and be excited about what God's got in store, or we can whine and complain and not understand, and why doesn't God understand what I want? So thank God I'm single. Now, first of all, I'm Catholic. I'm a guy. I'm 36 years old. I'm starting to get gray. And so every person asks the same question. Why aren't you a priest? Why don't you just become a priest? <laughs> yeah, I didn't think about that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, Oh, okay. I'm 100% Italian. I actually look good in black, so there is an advantage to doing that. But the disadvantage, of course, is uh, once you become the priest, it doesn't matter that you look good in black, because now you can't do anything about it anyway. So that's, out of the, that's, that's off the table. But I, I think every, every guy, every Catholic guy, if you take your faith mildly seriously, you really have to ask the question about vocation. And I realize some people here have already asked that question and already have it answered, and some guys maybe are still wondering, and every woman needs to ask this question, not just for yourself, but for the guy who you're about to date as well. And if you don't owe it to yourself, and if you don't owe it to God to ask this question, and to have some tangible proof with it, it'll get everybody off your back when they ask this question. Let me tell you what I'm saying here. For years, somebody's like, well, uh, do you want to be a priest? I said, oh, I don't know. Well, do, do you want to be a priest? Maybe God's calling you to the priesthood, Lino. So I said, okay, tell you what. I, I have only one way I can get you off of my back. Tell me what you want me to do. A good, a good priest friend of mine once said, this is what I want you to do. I want you to pray a Padre Pio Novena, 54-day novena. I'm like, the rosary, 54 days in a row? I was like, yeah, 10, 15 years out, sure. But every day, I said, all right. And 27 days, you pray for something. And then 27 days, you pray, you, you thank God for the answer to that prayer, even if the answer hasn't come along yet. But you trust in God. And you say, all right, God, I'm going to trust in you. This is going to work out. So I did this. And I prayed a 54-day novena almost every day. I missed every day. It wasn't perfect. It was like a 57-day novena. I missed a couple days. <laughs> God understands. There was a whole problem. New Year's Eve was over. It was, there, was, there were some issues that I didn't work it out perfectly, all right? I think God understands. He created space and time. He can give me a little space and a little time a couple days. <laughs> so I pray my Padre Pio novena. And at the end of it, I said, God, if you want to be a priest, and, and one big thing here, no lip service, not, God, I want to marry this girl, I want to have kids, I want to do this, and this, and this, but I'll be a priest if you really want. Not like that, but really, look, I'm open to it. You want me to be a priest? I'm happy to be a priest. God, just tell me what you want me to do. After my 54 days of praying, long story short, uh, somebody wrote a newspaper article about me. It happened to come out that 57th day of my novena. I didn't intentionally stretch it out. And I opened it up, and I used to work in TV, and it was a, a, they interviewed my camera guy, a completely non-religious person. And for some reason, the question was posed, and I didn't know it. In the interview, they asked my camera guy, do you think Lino should be a priest? And he said, well, I don't know. I don't believe in God. But I don't think Lino's probably called to the priesthood. I think he's, he's doing what he's supposed to do for the church the way he is as a single guy. 